oldest daughter has recently been accepted to the University of Michigan and I've spent the last two days in Ann Arbor and I spent some time in something called the Stockwell Hall and the next lady we'd like to introduce you to is a woman by the name of Madeline Stockwell. Back in 1870 the University of Michigan was a men only institution. Women of those days that had a yearning to go to college they could go to Bible colleges and community colleges, but when it came to the true institutes of higher learning, they were banned from them. And uh, during the 1870s, Melinda, M Lucinda Stone, sorry, Lucinda Stone was one of the women who organized a group of women and put pressure on the Michigan government to force the University of Michigan to take on women as students. Now, the university fought this with all their might. And um, during the ensuing battle over this issue, the Board of Regents quit when they finally decided that they would take one woman they would have an experiment. They would accept one woman into the University of Michigan, and if that woman didn't work out, well, then they wouldn't hear any more of that nonsense. And the president of the Board of Regents was so upset that he huffed away from his post, and as he left, he was heard to say, I have worked hard for the prestige of this university. After all, this is the University of Michigan, and I will not see sewing taught at the University of Michigan. And he huffed away. Also, there was a paper written at the time, and it was published in the community paper, and it was an article that was entitled, A Most Dangerous Experiment. And in this article, it pointed out of the high incidence of women having to be institutionalized as their, their, they could not withstand the rigors of higher education. Their constitution was such they could not withstand the rigors of higher education. So, through all of this, comes Madeline Stockwell. And Madeline Stockwell was no dummy. <laughs> she had already been to Kalamazoo College and Albion Alma. College. Yeah, it was Albion. Albion. Okay. And, uh, no, no. and Madeline Sto or Lucinda Stone was, was her, due to her lobbying efforts, she got Madeline Stockwell to be accepted as that one woman to go to the University of Michigan. And this song, Candace used the letters that Madeline Stockwell wrote back to Melinda Stone, telling a little bit about her life as the first co-ed at the U of M. The Stockwell Hall is actually one of the most beautiful halls in, on the entire campus, which I thought was a nice tribute to Madeline. Lucinda Stone, my teacher and my friend, came all the way on the train that day with a letter in her hand. As she came up the walk, she hardly could talk. Oh, Madeline, it's true. They'll finally admit a woman, and my dear, that one is you. I was the first experiment, first, so dangerous, the very first one to see if women could stay on at the university. 
Though my examinations were dreadful, very long and very severe, and some of it was senior study, it was lucky I read it last year. Now it might have been coincidence, the reading they gave to me was to translate a passage from the play Antigone. Now, as you might know, Antigone is a Greek play where a goddess incurs the wrath of the other gods because she performs funeral rites, which was a men-only thing. So standing there before them all, I'm sure my face was red. But I summoned up my courage, and in the clearest voice I said, Well, it behooves us to consider this, that we are by nature women, and therefore unable to contend with men. I was the first experiment, so dangerous, very first one to see, if women could stay on at the university. One morning in the classroom, a dog had wandered in. Well, a couple young men jumped up right then just to put him out again. When the teacher coldly stopped them, he was looking straight at me. Well, a dog has rights like anyone to this university. Was the first experiment, first so dangerous, the very first one to see if women could stay on at the university. Well, I must say, for the most part, the professors were quite kind, and kinder still were the young men, though they didn't seem to mind. It was the women of Ann Arbor, all the insults they could hurl. They'd point and call out on the street. Here goes that university girl. And the professor told young Turner he'd be sitting next to me. Well, I'll behave like a gentleman, sir. I'll not sit by any girl, please. Now it's true he's sitting next to me, and it looks like he just might. Go ahead and sit by me for the whole and the rest of his life. I was the first experiment, first, so dangerous, the very first one to see if women could stay on at the university. Well, it didn't take long, two short years, I earned my degree, and many women followed at the university. Somehow we knew some dreams come true, so choose them carefully. Go ahead and find your dream and make it reality. I was the first experiment, first, so dangerous, the very first one to see. If women could stay on at the university, I was the first experiment, first, so dangerous, the very first one to see. If women could stay on at the university. An interesting little footnote to that story is that uh, the fellow that Madeline Stockwell sat next to reluctantly um, was she ended up being Madeline Stockwell Turner that ended up being her future husband and on the day of their wedding uh, one of the professors wrote on the board when all came to class to see, I will not be in class today because I'm taking the train to Kalamazoo to witness the true dangers of co-education. <laughs> mm -hmm.